Hi, this is Rick Roland of PowerLink Software. I'm here to explain now a new feature that we've added to the Windows program that was in the old DOS program, but a bit more cumbersome. In this case, this is for radio stations that reconcile with more than one ASRUN or more than one studio. Many times when they do that, they need a certain time block from this studio and a certain time block from that studio, and they want to omit the other portions of airtime that may not apply to the actual reconcile or that the station was not on the air from that studio. So in here, we select our station, we go to perform a reconciliation, and that enables a button called Reconcile Parameters. We open that up, pull it down, and we see it has already read that you're using two files for this radio station. You can see that I can load instructions, clear them out, which has already been done, or save the instructions. I'm going to load some prior instructions that I've created. And you can see that the extension on the files is Rec Parm, so it's very unique, and only these files stand out. Let's pull the Sunday file and open that, and we see that it has pulled in some parameters. So what this effectively is saying is from ASRUN file number one, which is found in this location here with this date mask, block out the hours of six to eight. You can see that I can specify these times in various manners depending on how specific you need to be. You can see that this first block is actually telling us from 6 a.m. to 8.59 a.m. So on the second value, I've resolved it down to the seconds. In the second value, we want another block out time from 1 p.m. to 3.59 p.m. And in this last block out time, 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. So we can actually specify these. We're going to separate them with commas. And we could say something like 1400 to, and we can even resolve it down to the second by saying 14 colon 59 colon 59. So when you only specify two, you're talking about the hour. When you specify five, you're resolving it down to the minute. And when you extend it out to the second, you're resolving it to that point as well. Once you've got all this done, you can save the instructions. It now asks you for this. Now, the naming of this adds a lot of functionality to this. You can give it a specific date. In other words, this is a, on this date only do I want these parameters to be used. This is another one that says for all days, for a Sunday only, for a weekend only by the use of WE. WED specifies for Wednesday only. And when a station goes to reconcile, it selects the most specific to the least specific. So it's going to look for a specific date, then a specific day, then a specific portion of the week, and then all else it finds nothing and doesn't use it at all. So in this case, we're actually going to rewrite over Wednesday, for instance. I say save, and there it is. I reload it, and presto, there it is. I can clear it out and start over. These stay the same because they are already configured in your power link as to having as run file one and two already configured. So that is a given. Then it's for you to go over here and actually define the blocked out times, which is the easier. There would have been two ways to do this. One was times to include, and the other one would be times to block out. And when you think about it, the easier one to define is a block out time. And the way that we've done it you can actually list as many block out times as you like. I created this to be as dynamic as possible so that we would never get stuck in a situation where we don't have enough block out times to punch out the times that we don't want to see in a reconciliation. Thank you very much for your attention on this and I look forward to serving you in the future.